What's up, Jordan Stephen here? We're back to get another reaction. Today, we are hopping into Gilmore Girls episode number 22 of season number two called I Can't Get Started. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reaction episodes extra early over there. If you want them, if you don't, that's totally cool. You can get episodes here whenever they show up. So, last episode, of course, we had the whole Lorelai graduation and Rory making the very teenage decision, very rash and not really thinking about anything decision to go to be Jess uh, of course you guys saw my reaction I was not happy about that but I did understand you know she's a teenage girl and you know she clearly doesn't understand her feelings right now uh this ending doesn't seem like to be going in the route that I thought it was gonna go in um maybe it will just because Lorelai last episode did speak about the um that Laura uh, that Rory does like Jess and Rory's like, no, me and Dean forever and all that stuff. So I'm very curious about where this is going to go because I just assumed that the way everything was happening early, that the ending was going to be Dean and Rory breaking up. I don't know if that's what's going to happen. Uh, but we're going to hop in here, have a good old time, have some fun, like, comment, subscribe, pretty much. Do you a even wedding? like Jackson? Okay, I have a wonderful suggestion. Great, let's hear it. Okay, here we go. How about I leave? <laughs> and then do what? That's it. I leave and I don't have to listen to this insanity anymore. What do you think? How? Huh? Because I love it. Michelle, I have some be expected to keep track of all of that. Just an answer will do. I mean, it got a little hairy there for a moment. <laughs> I almost had to use a second sheet of paper, you know. I just realized, oi is the funniest word in the entire world. I mean, think about it. You never hear the word oi and not smile. Impossible. <laughs> funny, funny. We're off the phone. Dad, glad you're here. We're just talking about how pretty Rory is. Big eyes, baby. Give him the Bambi face. <laughs> oh, Rory gets lovelier every day. Well, I thank you, Grandpa. Oh, ready to Suki's wedding. Oh, how nice. When is it? A week from Sunday. Oh, so it's a pity invite. What? Ha! Is oh, that a thing? The already. That's 12. Hmm. Two more and she'll come in. I don't know. She's been walking back and forth out there for 20 minutes, and she's still oh, wow. man, the she door. still hasn't yeah, but come. Look how much closer to the building she's gotten. Why don't we just bring her something out? No, she and Luke have been in this fight for things. Did you get my note? I wrote you a note. Got your note. You got my note. Did you read my note? Read your note. And it was very well written. That's it. <laughs> I also enjoyed the Garfield stationery. That's one funny cat. I said I was sorry, Luke. Yes, yeah, she did. Uh, the donut, the coffee, no, the boat. Okay. Better drinking fountain. I don't know what she wants Updated from him either. Doctor. Like clearly marked boys and girls restrooms, non-dairy and wheat-free residents. And let me start tomorrow for you today. Jesus, that was a bit intense. Good luck to all of you. This concludes today's assembly. You are all dismissed. She is probably the she's the best choice, but she's so fucking. Did you get the little Debbie comment? Uh huh. All of it, cream filling, the snack cake. Every delicious morsel. Good, good. So, scandal, <laughs> please. Oh, I'm on it. Wait, are we, I'm on it. I mean, are we doing the sex scandal? What's happening? We should get her to be a running mate. People like hey, Rory. Tomorrow with everyone else. So, this one, but you have to. It's the only way, please. I'm begging you. Oh my God. They hate me, okay? Who hates you? Everyone. Everybody. <laughs> Everyone in the whole school hates me. Oh, yeah, they're politics. I just want to write about politics. You won't have to do Run. anything. I'll do all the work and Run, make speeches. Rory. You just have to sit there and be nice. No, but fine. Harvard loves this kind of crap. Hmm. That Tell me you won't be get thinking, into else, what man. if I just run with Paris? What if the one thing school? that could have ensured my place behind those ivy-covered walls I just walked away from? Wear some braids tomorrow with bows. I mean, hell. I like Paris sister. and Rory together. So, how do you feel? Great. Not at all sad. There you are. What's Still happening? On? What are you doing? Oh, great. I didn't miss it. He wants hey, to doctor, see. Hey, doctor, I'm dead. Hey, nice to meet you, doctor. I can't believe you're here. Why? I told you last week I wanted to come down for the big unveiling. I know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who worked through next? Um, actually, I have to get home. I'm my campaign platform. Campaign platform? Yes, our little Hillary Clinton here is running for student body vice president. Wow. Elections are on Friday. But then, what time? 7.30? I'm there. Are things not going great. well for him, Beth? With... Whatever his fiance, ex girlfriend, his girlfriend fiance, what is she? Ladies, I don't know what she gentlemen, is. honored guests. The ten minutes. Come on, I've got to go. My mom is waiting. This isn't funny. He doesn't like it. He doesn't have to come. He has to come. He's the best <laughs> man. Too bad. Jackson, come on. Shorts are different. They cut you funny. Mm. Wow. 
What's happening here? Well, the second act's as good as the first one. Oh, well, it's a wedding. Things are supposed to... Things aren't going too well for us lately. Oh, no. She had this big business trip plan, and before she left, we had a talk. You had to gossip. Yeah, why would you Unless do this? Unless it's true. Or Very just bad. way too good not to tell everyone you see, whether you know them or not. Got it? What is it? Well, oh, oh, it's not the sherry thing. Calling. That's a bit... Oh, enough already. I heard it the first time. Hello? How's this sound for a template? Get tunneling out of here with a spoon. Get back to the desk, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So, I guess who's in the process of breaking up? Brendan. Why would she do Brendan this? Tongue. I don't know. This isn't cool. Sherry and your dad. No. Yes. Oh. Dad told you that? Last night. Wow. As for some unknown godforsaken reason, you need me to stay. Well, actually. Goodbye. <laughs> Hey, can I grab my bag? I'm gonna go in the bathroom. It's over mustard greens. <laughs> I watched them fall in love. It's too quick, too <sighs> soon for him all. to. It was a nice show. Come to Lorelai, like he needed. He needs to process it before he does anything, because then it's not gonna end up well. This is not happening. I hope to God you're wrong. <laughs> but it's us. I mean, you and I, we. I've never been in the same place at the same time. But now. Mm. My head is spinning. It's all the plants in here, too much oxygen. <laughs> what do we do now? You know, I've got a room upstairs. Yeah, I don't. You were that sure you'd get lucky. Too much pink. Pink is for girls. Why Jackson's are you wearing the girl. dress? Jackson doesn't like pink. I have all this pink. It's like saying to you, hey, screw you. You want to say in this? Is Why that what it is? Hey, Pope, honey, hey, put the paste rag down. I can't. I have to fix this. Suki, down. Now step away from all things edible. When I went home, I was fine. And when I went to bed, I was fine. And then I had this dream where suddenly my dress is really, really short and back, you know? So I bolt out of bed and I put my dress on and it looks okay. But then I panic. What if I'm remembering the dream wrong? What if my dress really isn't screwed up? What if it's my... Oh, ruin the dress. Take it off. <sighs> now you go get some sleep. And you go get some... <laughs> oh, man. This is room service. How drunk I do we? like this hotel. <laughs> okay. I thought what was gonna happen is that uh, Sherry was in a car or something. Luke, I've only got ten minutes. How quickly can you make me a ham on rye? I've never clocked it, Kirk. But oh, you think it could be fast? Yes, Kirk. Of all the sandwiches, I do believe the <laughs> ham and rye is one of the faster ones to assemble. <laughs> what about a patty melt? Same time frame? Probably a little longer. Really? Yes, I have to grill a hamburger recently that said that weddings are an excellent place to meet women. Well, if it was in the paper, it must be true. I hope so, because I'm so damn lonely, not even Animal Planet does it for me anymore. <laughs> Your sandwich is coming right up. Caesar, I'm going upstairs for a minute. Due to call me back, say you got home, say no one mugged you on the bus. Wow, you, you haven't heard okay. from him say, since. You know what? Never mind. Just tell me what it is you want. I, I got work to do. Chad. Hey man, Luke, Luke is telling him the right things there. You can come back, things gotta change. I'd be like, you gotta try, you gotta stop being a jackass out in the streets. You gotta leave Rory alone. Even though Rory's gonna come to him and it's gonna be a whole thing, but we all know he's gonna show up here. There'll probably be a fight. You look nice. Thank you. You what I thought was going to be the ending is going to be the ending, so, probably. Uh, how many cocktails caused all sorry about last night? No. We should have probably not done this here. Night? Probably should have no. waited. Eager and willing to repeat last night? Uh, Mom, Dad, hi. Richard, Emily. Well, hello, Christopher. What a pleasant surprise. You came. Of course we came. We were invited. Hello, Christopher. <laughs> I mean, why did you think we would not come? Hey. That is Sherry, 100%. Sure, oh, what the hell, dude? Ugh. Dude, you didn't even listen to. Why didn't you listen to Luke, Jess? So move back. But what? Why? Just one and two. Oh my God! Oh my God! Rory, don't say a word. Okay. I have to go. Oh, welcome home. So you're going home. 
going to tell you moving out. What the fuck? This no. is exactly <sighs> what I said, bro. Okay. I can't believe this. I mean, I really can't believe this. Bad, right? So whatever happens or doesn't happen between us, I still need you to drive safe. Laura, you gotta punch him in the face. Sherry's pregnant. I knew it. Oh. I, oh I knew they would go that route. She just found out. And she called me as soon. I knew as they would go that route. Found oh. out, and that was her calling to tell me that she found out. I missed it before with Roar. I wasn't there. I wasn't a part oh, of it. Oh, no, no. no. I never forgave myself. That's really what he's... Oh. So I'm, I'm going to do that again. I'm just going to take off, disappear. No. I'm so sorry. You were such oh, an yeah, inconsiderate asshole, dude. Why would you even so tell right. her this? I will. Why would you even leave? You could have waited. Right? You, you are such a jackass. Hey. He's doing the right thing. Man, but this is why I didn't want it to happen. This is why I was like, don't do it. It's too soon. And I had a feeling they would go the route of pregnant because it just made sense. Oh, he went straight kill. Okay. That's actually pretty smart. Get out of the... I'm going to give this episode a nine. I... Don't love. I don't. I typically don't love the cliched storylines with the third that when they use them like like you could see the pregnancy thing coming. I kind of figured that would be what they would say, what they would do, just because I knew that it was gonna be Sherry and all that, and it was gonna be that whole thing. And I know it's cliche, but I, I like the way that they handled it for for me because of the, his reasoning about. The whole, I missed out on Rory. I don't want to miss out on my other kid. Like, it just makes sense, right? It makes sense that he doesn't want to be that guy again. Right? He missed out on, and I've been saying it for a very long time. That you guys, a lot of you see that Christopher not being in Rory's life as Lorelai's fault. But in that scenario, he very much owns to the fact that he missed out on it. Which to me me implies he had a choice back in the day he could have been around he chose not to be around because he wasn't with Lorelai and he wanted to be all bitter about it or whatever but that's I I don't agree with the oh well she didn't want him so therefore that don't mean that don't mean he can't be around he, he was a fuck up and he whatever now he doesn't want to be that anymore it sucks because now he's gonna be stuck in a relationship with her and do the whole thing and they won't go the route of, I doubt they will. It'd be interesting, but they won't go the route of um, now. Because it's not that kind of show. I just can't imagine them adding that. Lorelai getting pregnant as well. Because that'd be for an interesting kind of show. But that, man, that was, that, that hurt. That was, that, was, that was hard to watch. Just because you see Lorelai's face. She was happy. Emily was happy. Everything was looking like it was going to be good. And then, Bam. <sighs> he's an, I still think he's an inconsiderate jackass though he didn't have to tell her knowing she's in the wedding he didn't have to tell her he was leaving right there he could have gone through with the wedding then gone back right and I guess if you're Sherry you know but no you you have another kid you, you make up an excuse to tell Sherry that you'll be in a little bit, right? And you yourself process it before you blurt it out to Lorelai, right? That's why when they were when they were doing the thing, I was like, this is not this is not good. This is not gonna be. This is not what I would do if I was her or him. It just doesn't make sense because you guys are. It's too soon. Then we go to jump. We jump to the Lori thing. Lori's whole situation is crazy too. Oh, she, like, how, huh? what? Jess comes back, and she just kisses Jess. And I'm glad that her smart decision is I'm going to Washington. Because I need to be away from Dean, need to be away from Jess, and need to go do my, like, my stuff. I'm so about that. Uh, the Paris stuff was funny and interesting and kind of just neat. It was just like a way to get Rory to end up leaving. Uh, that conversation with Luke and Jess was cool. Um, I liked it. 
I would have gone more. I wish Luke would have been more, you know, I don't know, more like this is what's going to happen. Like not just kind of making it seem like there's options here. Uh, Dean was around. I'm wondering if we, when we get back, Dean will be here. Dean got a phone call. I thought maybe Dean was going to get a phone call about something, but he got a phone call. I didn't say what it was. Uh, the wedding stuff with Suki, it's fine. I mean, it kind of sucks that we didn't actually get to see her do her actual vows and everything. I think that would have been nice. Cause, you know, Suki's like a like a main like a character that looks deserved that. Um, yeah, but that's I mean the that's all I really got. We'll, we'll break it down now. Kind of go through it, but I like the episode a lot. I want to give it a nine. I kind of want to give it a ten, but I don't know. I still have, I have some minor net picks. I don't know what what I need to get it to a ten. I think maybe a more of an emotional breakdown. Maybe would have fed into getting it a ten. Um, let's kind of go through it here. Start off. Suki wants like a very depressing song for her wedding. Everybody doesn't like it. They want her to change it. Um. Then hop here. We're at the Emily's. And you invite her to the wedding, and she is upset because, oh, it's a pity invite. Somebody like somebody else canceled, it and we're here, but that's not really what happened. But her and Richard both do the same thing. Dean and Rory are doing okay, seem to be happy. There was a whole weird situation here with Luke and uh, Lorelai. I thought this was handled really well. I like this. I like that Luke is kind of sticking to his guns and he's not being mean. He's just not being the way that we used to be. I respect that. We then hop to the whole stuff with Paris and her very dictator speech here of like, my God, I just came off very, <laughs> which is why she's not liked. We get the two girls who haven't seen her forever. And they say that you people think you're qualified. You're the best for the job, but nobody likes you. and Nobody's going to vote for you. She thinks of the smart idea. I'm gonna get Rory because everybody likes Rory, even though Rory keeps to herself. So I don't know how many votes she would have gotten, but you know, whatever. Uh, then we're here, and in comes Christopher, and I'm like, okay, Christopher, you're around. Interesting. Uh, we have the whole thing with the kilt. Orlai and Christopher are, you know, drinking and being very, you know. Which. We then find out that Laura, that, um, Christopher and Sherry are going through a rough patch. They are not doing things well. They are not handling it well. I really didn't like Lorelai's uh, reaction to this because she seemed too happy. Like she was gleefully happy. Like that's not cool, man. But then she, she did say that if he was sad, I'd be sad, but he wasn't. So, hey. But, um,. Then let's see, uh, we are prepping for the wedding. Christopher and comes down and sees that Laura is working on the wedding and all kinds of flirting and shenanigans. And I'm just like, don't do it, don't do it. And they did it. And Suki's uh, freaking out, that like, calms her down. We then hop over here, and of course, they decide, you know what, uh, let's make it work. We're gonna try and make it work, and bam. We got a funny little moment here with uh, Kurt and Luke. And then, bam, Jess is just back. And, you know, there's the whole thing. I want to come back. I'm guessing things aren't going well for Jess. It it probably is for Rory, I guess. But I don't know. Luck said it's for Rory. I wish it would be for him and he wanted to better himself. Maybe he will. Maybe that'll be next season. Maybe him wanting to be good for Rory will make him want to be better. But Luke kind of gives him, like, things have to change and all that. But I would have given him, like, the hardcore speech. Uh, then, yeah, he got a phone call here. I wonder what the phone call was about. But, you know, Paris, oh, not this phone call. Let me get a phone call here later. Oh, no, he doesn't get a phone call. Never mind. I was way off. For some reason, I thought he got a phone call later. But, no, he got the phone call from Paris. Oh, they won. Got to go to Washington. And then when, we, when they walk away, we transition over to Christopher and Lorelai. Things are going well. Emily sees it and she's like, hmm, and then she's happy for her. And the transition wasn't that Dean got a phone call. That's why he walked away. The transition was that Christopher wanted to talk to Lorelai about it and how things are working. And then, bam, transition to Jess. And then, out of nowhere, he decides to kiss Jess. Spontaneous as hell. Just couldn't control her teenage 
feelings and emotions and hormones. Just kissed him. She got scared, ran away. Then we got the jackass of Christopher here. And I know that some of you guys are going to say, you guys are going to say that he's doing the right thing. And he should have told her, no, he should not. Not right now. This was messed up. Um, he could have just kind of, he didn't have to kiss her. He could have just kind of played it a, little, a certain way, let her do the wedding. Then after the wedding, tell her everything else, right? But no, he decides to ruin the wedding. Tell her, not ruin her wedding, but tell her right there. Make her all emotional. Make a, make a good case about being a good dad and wanting to be there for his new kid. But messed up nonetheless. And then Roy says she's going to, uh, Roy's going to Washington because she needs to get away for six weeks because Dean, just Dean, just, and that's where we're at. So that's the episode. I liked it a lot. I was very emotional. Well, I guess I was angry uh, and then kind of disappointed a little bit. But that's the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episodes over there if you want them. If you don't, totally cool episodes here whenever they show up. But I'm going to get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.